hello! Welcome to Marcella Reads. Today I'm going to be talking about the new upcoming book releases that I'm most excited for in the months of January, February, and March. First up in January 2022 is It Will End Like This by Kira Lay. This is a contemporary take on the Lizzie Borden story. They say it's for fans of Sadie, which I liked but I didn't necessarily love, so this is going to be a maybe for me. I'm very curious about this next one. This is To Paradise by Hanya Yanagihara, who wrote A Little Life, which is just <laughs> emotional torture porn, basically. Like in 850 whatever pages, like it's thick and sad. I am really just curious how this book is gonna compare to that one. And the description for this one is saying that it is going to span three centuries and three different versions of the American experiment. It's about lovers and family and loss and the elusive promise of utopia in America, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, it sounds pretty similar to Homegoing, a book I read earlier this year. I don't know. Maybe? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wait to see what other people are saying about this one because I just I don't know what to expect. Next is A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This is a mystery thriller, which I am back in the mood for. I'm I haven't had like that much luck in 2021 with them, but hopefully in 2022 it goes a little bit better. So in this one, when Chloe was 12, her father was arrested and convicted for the killings of several girls from her local area. And now, 20 years later, Chloe is a psychologist and teenage girls have been going missing again. And she's wondering, well, if her father is in jail and all that, who's doing these killings and stuff? And are they connected somehow? I feel like I've heard of this sort of story before, but I don't know if I've actually read it. I'm curious. Her Hidden Genius by Mary Benedict. So this is a historical fiction. It's highlighting the life of Rosalind Franklin, who is best known for her brilliant, amazing contribution to the discovery of DNA and its structure. Her work specifically was in x-ray crystallography, trying to get clearer and clearer images of the DNA double helix to get a better idea of what it literally looks like at the molecular scale, which had not been done before. And like her work, these super clear images are what allowed Watson and Crick to, I guess, discover the double helix that is DNA. And without her work, that discovery may not have happened until, you know, who knows when. And it's just like, she was overlooked at the time, but in, in the following years, she has been more and more recognized for her brilliance, but uh, for, unfortunately, not necessarily within her lifetime. So I'm curious to see what this book has to say. I don't really know all the details of what she did in her life, so I'm, I'm excited. This next one is a horror. This is Devil House by John Darniel, and he is from the Mountain Goats, if you know that band. Um, but I've not read any of his books before, but I'm, I'm curious. So in this one, a true crime writer moves into a house that it, the locals have called the Devil House, uh, where a pair of notorious murders happened in like the 1980s. And at first, he's really excited for this opportunity. It's gonna like inspire him to finish his books and write and do, you know, author stuff. But soon, this story of the Devil House leads him to question his own work. Like what it means, what he's doing with his life as a true crime writer. I'm hoping this is a reflection on what true crime has become in like the entertainment space. Like I know there's been a lot of discourse on this in like the last year or so. I'm curious to see what this brings to the table. Eee! I'm super excited about this one. This is Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. This is a sci-fi horror. I love the cover of this one. It is absolutely giving me dead space vibes. The description says, a woman and her crew board a decades lost luxury cruiser and find the wreckage of a nightmare that hasn't yet ended. And then there's like a three line thingy. A ghost ship, a salvage crew, unspeakable horrors. Like, okay, you absolutely have my attention. I, I really hope it follows through with my expectations. And it 
this like you know coming upon a long lost ship in space is giving me like um leviathan wakes vibes like the very first introduction to the proto molecule and also just all of event horizon like i oh i want to be scared i love space horror especially like this like oh, i'm so excited on to february so when I saw this, I almost yelled because I was just saying how much I'm looking forward to the sequel to Witchy. So in February, we should be getting Witchy Volume 2 by Ariel Selmet Rees. And it is fantasy, if you've heard me talking about it before, basically in this society, magic is a normal part of life and your magical ability is tied to your hair length. So the longer your hair is, the more powerful magic you can do. And the main girl, her father had really, really long hair, so he was super powerful. But the government of the society didn't like that. So they want long, people with long hair to work in their like military. But if you are not in the military and are really powerful, you are an enemy to the state and could be, like her father was, burned at the stake. Not good. So she did what she could to hide her hair and her power, but then... Um, it went bad <laughs> and now hopefully witchy volume two is continuing her struggle through you know running from the government and stuff and i'm excited this is another horror that i had never heard of before because it hasn't been translated into english until this coming february so this is the lake of the dead by andre bierke i hope i'm saying that right so this is a classic Norwegian crime novel. And like I said, it's finally getting translated into English. And it was originally published in 1942, like a while ago. So I'm excited. And it has a very good creepy cover. And the story is that somewhere deep in the woods, there is this cabin and it's called Dead Man's Cabin, not, not a good sign where a man in a fit of madness murders his sister and her lover, dumps their body in this nearby lake, and then he throws himself into that lake as a, a final act of his life. And then, you know, that happens. And then later, a young writer rents out the cabin. Mm, sounds similar to, to Death House. <laughs> yeah, so a young writer rents out this cabin to finish his book, but then he disappears and the police are saying it's like an accident or suicide, whatever, but his friends and family are not convinced and they're trying to figure out what happened to him. Maybe he threw himself in this lake in a fit of madness or maybe something else. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to, oh, I, <laughs> I know I, I'm saying curious a bunch, but I really am. I'm so intrigued at all these new books, even though I know uh, <clears throat> I already have a bunch here. But it's okay it's okay and last we have the books that are set to come out in march 2022 first is the book of living secrets by madeline rowe this is a ya fantasy another great and spooky cover just look at these tentacles what the hell is going on this story follows two girls who transport themselves into their favorite book um they're like you know that sounds really really fun but uh, once they are in the book, they quickly figure out that this is a sinister alternative of reality and, and it's not at all what they expected. And now like, who hasn't imagined themselves jumping into a book like this? Like I dreamed of this as a child. And yes, it would be a big old bummer if it turned out to be a nightmare instead of a really fun daydream. Next is one I've heard a lot of people on booktube talk about. Uh, this is Gallant by V. Schwab. I have not read any book by her before, but I know she's very, very popular, especially in the fantasy realm. Uh, this specifically is a YA fantasy and maybe with like a little bit of horror, I'm not sure. It is supposed to be a standalone, which I am excited for. I'm already in the middle of too many series. So having a nicely contained story does sound real good about now. So an orphan, I think an orphan, <laughs> is invited to come home to this place called Gallant. And she goes, but when she arrives, no one is expecting her. So she doesn't know who invited her to go there. And this place does really actually feel like home to her for the first time in her life she's felt home so she doesn't want to leave 
So she stays and discovers some of Gallant's deep, dark secrets, including like a mirror version of this Gallant place. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I have questions. I am intrigued. Next, we have The Cartographers by Pang Shepard. Uh, I read The Book of M by this author a couple years ago, and I really liked it. Like, it was so unique and weird, and it really stuck with me, so I have high hopes for this one. This is a fantasy mystery thriller where a young woman finds a strange map in her deceased father's possessions, and it holds an incredible, deadly secret, one that will lead her on an extraordinary adventure, and uh, will also lead her to discover some family truths that she may or may not want to learn. Okay, that is it for the books I am most excited to come out in the next three months or so. I love doing these videos. I know I don't always get to them when they do come out because, you know, the backlog is endless. But I am very much looking forward to reviews of these. Maybe that will tip them higher and higher into my TBR. I don't know. And with that, I hope you all have an amazing week. Do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for others. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!